Hi there, welcome back. This is Akimi here once again. In this video, I will teach you a simple working base technique that will help you in your praises or any style of music. Click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for all other updates and exciting lessons that I will upload here. Without much ado, let's dig into the lesson. So, you tackle this lesson in key D. Be using the progressions one, two, three, six, two, five, one. Do we mi la we so do. Okay, this is what you'll be using in the entire song. And before you can work, you must understand the scale that you want to use. Some use the pentatonic scale together with the um, chromatic scale. Some also use the arpeggios, some use other type of skills. Okay, so understand the skill that you know better, that you can use to work. Okay, so in this in this lesson, I will demonstrate to you how you can use the arpeggios and the chromatic skill and the passing notes. Okay, because in the Ghanaian play setting, we use the um, the chromatic skills a lot. Okay, so understand this and pay very close attention to this lesson. Also, you must know the time signature and the tempo of the song that you are playing. Okay, so that you don't mess up the groove and also target the notes. Target the notes. Don't mess out any notes. Because the reason why we work is to fill out all the spaces in the song. And it is your duty as a bass player to do this. Okay, so let's start with the arpeggios. If you don't understand a page, the PDF is in my Telegram group. You can click the link in the description to have access to it. Also, if you don't understand a page, Marvin Tooks has done an extensive lesson on a page. Click the link in the description to have access to have full understanding of a page. Okay, so let's continue with our lesson. So, on my one note on do, I use the major seven for page. And it is do re so D on re it's a minor do so I use the minor seven for page Re fa la do then on mi mi so say minor do so I use the minor seven for page so it's mi so D re on la la is a minor do so I use the minor seven for page so la do mi so then back to re again Re fa la do because it's a minor do then so so it's a dominant note okay or a dominant chord so use the dominant seven for page so it's so d re fa then back to do do mi so d okay so i also put the click track in the description okay so so you can have access to them and practice with them so on do i'm come to work on the song progression using the arpeggio so okay so let me use the click track this is a short phrase click track with a low tempo okay Done with the first aspect that's the arpeggios we are moving on to the second aspect this is where we come we will be using the chromatic scale and the arpeggios together okay now i spoke about targeting the notes so if i'm playing to i can use the chromatic scale to this do my one note okay so i can play or i can play Okay, la to ti do six flat seven seven one. Or I can use 
in the backwards manner. More and any of the notes. So one and count it away. the chromatic movements now okay just study the nose and um, apply the chromatic movement to them okay so applying the chromatic notes and the arpeggios together um, come to work again When I come to me, I play the arpeggio. When I come to me, I play the arpeggio. When I came to la, I did a backward chromatic movement to the la, so I played do ti to la. Okay. Then on the so, I played the arpeggio on the so, the dominant seventh arpeggio. Then back to do, I did another chromatic movement. So on the do, I play. Then I applied um, a simple passing note back to the do to start it. Okay, so you can just do the substitution. You can either start with the arpeggio or start with the chromatic scale then an arpeggio, then a chromatic scale, then an arpeggio or just do the mix up okay don't just mess up the groove that's the most important thing so I can start I can start by doing so let's use the clip track and see how we apply all those things there okay so it's very very simple or i can play it like this Okay, so just practice the arpeggios. You can start by practicing the arpeggios first, then you practice the chromatic scale or interchangeably by mixing them together. Okay, use your metronome first before you use the click track. Okay, so I'm done with the sharp place concept. Let's move on to using the click track on our normal praise um, medley. Okay. Um, the same progression. Just applied the chromatic fills here and the arpeggios in the Ghanaian praise 
groove also so i played so when i was playing the do when i was coming to the second note that's my way do di re so do di re when i was coming to the me i played mo mi when i was coming to la i played di to la then on the way again mi mo re then la si so then on the do i played do mi fa fi so then i pass in note to the do to start the notes again Understanding this concept, understanding this concept is is very easy to work on any type of song. One target the note, know the scale that you are using, okay, and the time signature and the um, the tempo, and you are good to go. And also practice, practice on this very well. The arpeggios and the chromatic scale a lot okay maybe for now it may sound confusing to you that that is what i started with okay and it sounded confusing to me but as i practice on the arpeggios and practice on my arpeggios as time went by i understood the concept and i am now being able to apply it in any song okay so i'll end the lesson here just just practice you'll be fine okay so the click track is in my um it's in the in the description you can have access to them okay so this ends our lesson today see you in the next lesson